Show me a Christian who says they know everything and I'll show you a liar. I see so many people on the internet just to let you know, you know, I'm not anybody or nothing. I just, I just serve the Lord. He's my master. I'm his slave. But he's given me eight ministries now. I started off with just one little Facebook page 18 months ago and now I have eight ministries. Five Facebook pages here, uh, Google and Twitter and also blog. So it could be nine technically. But I'm all over the net, night and day, 12 to 15 hours a day. And I see so many Christians who claim and who, or they may not come out and claim that I know everything, but they present. They know everything by the way they act and the way they carry themselves, like they're know-it-alls. I'll tell you up front again, I don't know anything without the Holy Spirit's leading. Without the King James Version Bible, reading it, I don't, I'm like Sergeant Schultz from Hogan's Heroes. I know nothing. I don't know anything, okay? And I understand my place. I understand that I'm a slave and I work for my master and I love that relationship. And that's how I live my life. I've had people tell me, well, you know, Paul kid, uh, you think you're so much better than everybody. Anybody that knows me, anybody that follows my ministries and knows me in real life face to face will tell you that I'm the same here in real life and face to face conversations as I am on the video camera, as I am on any other page. I don't change. I stay consistent because I'm a slave and I understand that. I don't get the big head because I can't, a slave can't get a big head. A slave is owned by his master and Jesus Christ is my master. He owns me and I have to serve him and do exactly what he says. And I will be the first to tell you, I don't know everything. The Lord's given me a lot of discernment and he's given me wisdom through the Holy Bible and I can find anything. If you give me time, I can get an answer for you. But I can't just pop everything off the top of my head. I can do some, but that's only because of the Holy Spirit. It's never because of me. If it was only because of Paul Kidd, I'd be walking around just knowing nothing. <laughs> I couldn't tell you anything. We have to understand. We have to understand. We have to be humble in our walks. And we have to understand when we're teachers and we're preachers and we're watchmen. That we're setting an example for people. And they're watching what we do. And they're seeing what we do. We can't sit around like we're some kind of a guru and some kind of a, of a genius and, and you know, some kind of an almighty authority. The only almighty authority is almighty God, Jehovah God, and his son, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. They're the almighty authorities. People on earth, humans, were nobody. But so many get the big head. And you know how, how I know that? I used to be one of them. Before I got into ministry and started serving people, I served myself. I was the most cocky, arrogant person in the whole world. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near me. I was a know-it-all. I knew everything. I was better than everybody. And I told you I was better than you. And people couldn't stand being around me. But the Lord brought me down to the bottom where I, all I could do is look up and I couldn't get any lower. And he picked me up and dusted me off and put me back on the path on the rock to stay. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. All for the glory of God. But that's what we've got to do. We have to be willing to help people out. Not be mean and condescending and rude but to help people out. And you have to realize also, there's a lot of people out there who claim to be Christians, but they're Ian's. I have a video, you may have seen it now or not, it's, it's in the, the pipe to get out, but a Christian without Christ is just an Ian. Christian, Ian, that's all they are is an Ian. And they will try to get under your skin, they will message you on Facebook or on YouTube or, or Twitter or, or Google or anywhere. And they will just try to stab you in the back. They'll make fun of you. They'll call you names. They'll, they'll pick at you. They'll try to get you, goad you into a fight. I don't fight. The Holy Spirit told me, and this is one of my credos. I've got several of them he's given me. But he told me, don't argue with people about Scripture. Let the Holy Bible argue with you. <laughs> and that's exactly what I do. The Holy Bible does all my arguing. So you're not going to see me argue with you. And if I try to, to help you and give you advice and you try to get smart with me and come and start putting nasty stuff on my wall, see the walls? And my, all my ministries, they aren't my walls. They're my master's walls. They belong to Jesus Christ. I'm just his slave. I'm the caretaker of those walls here on earth. So you're not going to deface and put nasty graffiti on my master's wall. I'm going to erase it. I'm going to take. I'm going to get rid of it. And if you continue on, I'll, I'll get rid of you. I mean, you'll still be able to watch my videos here, but you won't be able to post anymore because I'm not going to have my master's walls just covered in graffiti and covered in just argumentative junk that is just scripturally baseless. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Okay? I'll pray for you every day and I'll love on you every day. And if you hate me and you call me your enemy, 
You're my best friend. I don't have any enemies. The Lord Jesus Christ has been transforming my life. He has been, he continues to. He transforms my life daily and brings me closer and closer to Jesus Christ. That's why I long to be in the center of his will always. That's where we all need to long to be. We all need to understand, <coughs> excuse me, that we're nothing without Jesus Christ. Nothing, not a zilch, zip. Once you understand that and get to that place in your life and that point in your life when you can just say honestly and all the time, hey, I'm nothing without Jesus. That's the time Jesus is going to start using you in a mighty way. That's the time he's going to start working through you. And it's all him. It's never us. Jesus answers a prayer through your ministry or performs a miracle or someone gets saved or, or repents of being backslidden and comes back to Jesus Christ or someone is motivated, they're, they're convicted to turn off their television and get out of their easy chair and get out and reap the harvest. That's all glory to God. All we are is just, like I said, a slave. And we should ask for none and accept no glory, praise, or honor from anybody. Always deflect that praise back to the source, Jesus Christ. So if you're a big head out there, a big head, a big fancy person, a big fancy prophet or a prophetess, or you call yourself a apostle, or you say you have disciples under you or whatever, you know, just stop the madness. Just go ahead and call yourself what you are, a slave for Jesus Christ. Let Jesus Christ call us whatever he wants to call us. Because when we meet him in heaven, praise the Lord, he'll have a title for us or a name, whatever he wants to give us. Not here on earth. We, we work for our master. That's how we need to be. So don't think you know it all. Don't act like you know everything. Because if you do, you're lying. Only Jesus Christ, only God, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, the Triune, the three in one, know it all. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please just give us just a humble spirit. Give us humility. But help us to be bold as well. Help us to have a backbone of steel, of Kevlar. We can combine both of those easily. So many Christians think they have to be mousy. We can be humble, meek, mild, and bold, and powerful through Jesus Christ's strength. Please help us to not be cocky and arrogant, but to help people and, and to let them know that you, you're the one who gives us the, the, the knowledge. Jesus, we don't know anything. I love you so much, and I praise you how you've been transforming my life. Please continue to transform me and all those who want to be transformed to be more and more in the likeness of Jesus Christ as we draw closer to you. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I believe you went back to heaven and be at the right hand side of the Father. Please forgive me of my sins. Live in my heart. Cleanse my heart white as snow. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. If you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Once you're saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's the only real Bible out there. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food every day, feed your spirit and soul with the Bible. Pray every day to your new best friend, Jesus Christ. He loves you. He wants to talk to you every day. Get water baptized. Pray to be sanctified with the Holy Spirit from head to toe as you grow in Christ and what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take your Bible to church. If what the pastor says don't match your Bible, close it. Get up and walk out. Find somewhere else to worship. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want to talk, chat, pray, get a hold of me here. If you have a prayer request that runs a gamut from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me here. Message me. I prayed and God gave me the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. Nothing I did on my own, but praise the Lord, I have it. And I see and perform miracles every day in my various ministries. Miracles for people that I'm praying for. And it's all through the praise, honor, glory, and power of Jesus Christ. Nothing to do with Paul Kidd. Again, I'm nobody. It's a slave to Christ. But I'll tell you, I'll pray for you every day if you ask me to, believing that God will answer all my prayers if I pray in His holy will. Please share the link to this channel, this video, or other videos with friends, neighbors, co-workers, with loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. We have to share the good news of Jesus Christ, the way it's written in the Holy Bible, the way I preach it on this channel. Not because I'm anything, but because God's everything. If we try to soft soap and la da and, and, and teach cotton candy and syrup, People aren't going to want to repent of their sins. They aren't going to want to be saved or, or get out and reap the harvest. They won't care. They have to be convicted the way the Bible's written. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Good night.